Okay, now we're talking about the directs. Hey, Drew. Okay, I, I know you said for the last five minutes you want to talk about the direct, but given that I can feel the blood vessels popping in your skull as we speak, do you want to get Sonic out of the way first? To, like, ease yourself into the downward spiral. I mean, there's not much to talk about with Sonic, really. Exactly. There's an anime floaty emo goth. Now we, now we move on. Hold on, what, what did I write? And there's a Shadow of the Colossus metallic monster. I, I guess all the notes are wrote down. Okay, the spin cycle isn't called the spin cycle. They called it the psi loop. The, 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 you know how Sonic knights into dream senses around enemies? Yeah. To deal that? It's called the psi loop. Okay. Why is it not called a spin cycle? That would have been clever. It would have been better. Because they thought they were cool. Oh my dick. I know. There was a there was a demo, and I encourage everyone to look it up on YouTube. But uh, there was a guy who video recorded himself playing the demo, and I think it was E three or somewhere. But um, it kind of goes a bit into like what the beginning of the story mode is a little bit, and um, it doesn't really say how all of Sonic's friends got kidnapped. It just kind of it's like a little tutorial. And it's I the one thing I will give that game, fighting has never looked more fun. Yes, the combat looks interesting because Sonic's I think is always just the notion of that kind of character being like kind of small and a speedster and stuff mm -hmm. and having a lot of like pompous flair. I've always wanted to see Sonic fight in a really cool way because. Uh, the Smash move set doesn't do anything for me. No, no, no. Roll into a ball for half your move set. Yeah, okay, it's good. I, oh, now Sonic's like kicking in the air and stuff. So I know this is probably you're gonna cringe at my, my immediate reference, but um, I won't cringe. Sonic 06. <laughs> yep. Anyways, so do you remember how Shadow fought in Sonic 06? Yes. He would do a homing attack and then he would like attack in midair at the opponent. Yes. That's how it is, but it's less tedious. Yes. That is way better. <laughs> and, and, and it looks more interesting. Yes, it looks more interesting and is more interesting in general for what Sonic has going for him. And the Psy, whatever, the circle thing is interesting, but I, I'm glad that there's a basic combat that's not super annoying where it's just ha, 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 just circles going, like hitting the next enemy, hitting the next enemy, hitting the next enemy. I Okay, I'm not saying this to pick on you. Hmm. Uh, it's just because it's something I, that came to mind. But there is another game you could have brought up for a better example of combat. Shadow of Basketball! Okay. Anyway. Drew froze. So... I, there's, there's not much I can say other than I'm glad also that you have a big space to run in. Stop fucking yourself. Wait, don't say anything. It does come up on the- YAY! Damn it, Drew. <laughs> uh, he made a horrible discovery. Remember that? Was it Mario Odyssey or like- <laughs> You did that? I, I, uh, no, it wasn't that. It was, um, <laughs> I don't remember what the context was, but, like, I was gonna do a joke where I said, hey, hold on, and then I zipped myself in my pants, and you said, Drew, the mic's gonna catch that, and the mic uh, didn't catch it at all. Yeah, yep. <laughs> mic didn't catch it at all. By the way, that never happened. <laughs> and then that's when I said my line, and I'm not saying it again. Anyways, <laughs> but, um, Go check out the Odyssey playthrough if you want to understand what we're talking about. But the what I do like is that the environments not only look fun, they look different from each other. They do seem like there's something going on. Not too different. It's whatever. It took time. them 19 months to just show literally one other island for literally one second. Yeah, it's desert. That's all they had. To, that's all they had to do for three months. And they just wouldn't. Mm -hmm. So obviously... 
I, okay. <laughs> I did he turn supersonic just based off getting one emerald? No. Because I thought when he got that purple emerald from the the head of that guy, he just suddenly turned supersonic. He may have had six emeralds by that point, or it was a hard cut to something else. Okay. Where he had all the emeralds. Fair enough. I'm guessing the reason they're showing supersonic. <laughs> is an implication that you'll be able to use Supersonic. During the game? Like, not just during the final boss. I'm fine with that. I, I'm i fine with that as long as it, it's not absolutely broken. But, um... Yeah, because if the Chaos Emeralds are required to beat the story, then yeah. It'd be okay if it were broken if they were really hard to get, and you didn't have to get them for the story. I'm kind of wondering if it's like a you must defeat so and so to get to the next island type thing. That's what I'm thinking. Is Which, the island's gonna have an emerald? Yeah, I, I'm. I'm thinking like you know it's probably not too bad, but that's just my thoughts. But um, other than that, I don't have much else to say on Sonic. The music is fucking stellar as always. Uh, Vandalize my gaping hole. Fucking. It's it's such a a nice jam, but um. Do you want to move on? Sonic Jam? Sure. Knuckles Baseball! Amy Shuffleboard! May I present to you my Nintendo Direct Rewatch Analysis. We're getting into it. God bless you. This is the meat. My Drew. liver came out. The, you know what? That's meat too. But... <laughs> <laughs> not don't a, remind me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I so I I conducted this own little experience of mine. I don't know, Drew. Did you watch the past four? Or did you even bother? I, I'd like to put a disclaimer for the fans real quick mm -hmm. uh, because things are about to get very old man yells at cloud. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> cloud. Downward spiral, downward spiral, downward spiral, downward spiral, downward spiral. That's not copywritten, is it? No. Okay, good. Because remember, for the Moon Friends podcast, it's never ogre. <laughs> All right, now we can be angry old men, young boy. Thankies, anyways. Big thankies from Big Spankies. <laughs> From McSpanky. This last direct felt like McSpanky. <laughs> it felt like it. McSpanky in my face. So, Drew, Drew did you, I, I? You didn't answer my question. Did you actually watch the past four directs? Oh, I did. That's all you did, or all you did was what? As opposed to doing what else? Like, did you watch them and make notes on them like I did? Yes. Okay. Kind so of. I'm going to present my notes for each one, and then do you have notes for each one, or...? Talk all of your shit first, like, everything you have to say about okay. these directs, because we took notes in different ways. We took them in different formats, and so... It's not going to help if we go back and forth. I gave... The way I did this was I gave a score of 0 out of 10, or of 0 to 10, and gave an explanation of how I felt the entire direct flowed, as well as, you know, what prominent features made it feel like a good direct. And this is, again, keep in mind, very subjective. What you find in a direct is completely your own, and what you like about it can be enjoyed. This is the episode. I, I, he can't know this. This is the episode where we get divorced and break up, and he becomes a single father in six months when he and Greg births. Okay, so E3 2021. It's a really good thing he didn't hear any of that. Fuck you. E3 2021. I gave an 8 out of 10. Okay. Very well paced. Their opening statement involved marketing games out for any gamer out there, and that's pretty much what they did. That Direct is a great example of having something for everyone. Smash Review, Mario Golf, Metroid Dread, WarioWare, Get It Together, Advance Wars, Fatal Frame, Dragon Ball Kakarot, Danganronpa, and Breath of the Wild 2 teaser. There was a lot to unpack there. I am in over my fucking head. <laughs> <laughs> that was all I wrote for that. <laughs> but I 
I, if I could go into, into that a little bit. You did more in 20 seconds than I've done in the last 10 <laughs> years. I took this shit seriously. So... I thought I did too. <laughs> How do you think I feel when well, you talk about Pokemon and I talk about this? <laughs> like, but, um... Let's hear it, Roger Ebert. If, again, all I can say about that, very well paced. And like I'm in this this is exactly what I assume all direct should be. Throw that new game flair mixed with that a little bit of updates on what's happening with other games. Um September 23, 21 direct. Seven out of ten was the score I gave it. No real opening statement to set a precedent for the direct, which is okay. There's still a lot for most gamers in there. 3D Kirby. First time, Bayonetta 3, Deltarune Chapter 2, Chapter 2, Chapter 2, Mario Movie Hilarity, which I think everyone got a kick out of. And Doug Walker as Bowser. <laughs> it was beautiful. Uh, NSO Expansion Pass announcement. We didn't get the price there, but the announcement was exciting at the time. Um, the release dates for Smash and Animal Crossing Directs. Nothing extraordinary, but the news was exciting. It left us wanting more. And that's that's another thing I think a direct is supposed to do. It's supposed to leave you wanting what's to come. And that was, again, that's why I gave it a high score. There wasn't much to go off of in terms of Nintendo content entirely, but there was Kirby, there was this, there was that. And, you know, it functioned. Now, <laughs> February 9th, 2022. Five out of ten. Not bad, just meh. I feel as though we should have expected a lot more content from Nintendo in this Direct than was given. Xenoblade Chronicles 3, Kirby and the Forgotten Lands, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC, Mario Strikers Battle League. Other than these games, they were sports-themed and battle RPG-themed. Nothing else really stuck. Also, two businessmen, two businessmen played volleyball. Yay. But they, they were kind of looking a little cute, though. I do not give a shit. I've never given less of a shit. <laughs> I hey, Listen, I'm excited to be a CEO of something. Does that mean I need to fucking watch how I swing a thing yes. for people? Yes. Flaunt it, Mr. Koizumi. Koizumi was the only thing that was really going there. He was going. The president looked like he was about to have a fucking stroke. <laughs> Why do you hate old people? You're basically one of them. I don't hate old people. No, but you hate many things, so you're old. <laughs> Whatever. And finally, we come to September 13th, you know, 2022. Some people this age that go into labor actually die in the process. Did you know that? 14% of people over the age of 50 die in labor. Very right, true. Uh, just, just say this once. You're in a room that is surrounded by weapons, mainly piloted by me. May I ask one question? No. Are we still recording? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Wait. There is an axe to my right. There's, there's. What do you mean an axe? That. Oh. Oh, that's actually not a bit. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I can stress this. So stop talking about this if it's actually not a bit. There's literally a fucking. <laughs> There's an axe to my right, Drew. And if you want to keep making Mpred jokes, I guess I'll just have to make sure that you don't have the chance to break anyone. The entire time we've known each other since like 2017. No, about since 2019. Oh, okay. There are also plenty of blunt force instruments around here. So, uh, yeah. Watch your fucking mouth. And shut up. Please. Are we, are we clear? Yeah? Yeah? I gotta hear it, Drew. Yeah. Okay, we're good. All right. That's good. Are you ready to continue? <laughs> I'm glad. All right. So the September 13th, 2022 direct 
I gave a 3 out of 10. <laughs> I wrote a note. The note for this is, in all the farm games, there was a different verb before the word crops to make them seem different. Nurture, grow, cultivate, and cultivate. They ran out of verbs. So, for farming games, already not a good sign, I wrote abysmal. This is the second direct straight that started with a Fire Emblem game. Not a bad thing, but a weird comparison. Three farming games were shown before the halfway mark. More and more tactical and or JRPGs. New announcements are to an absolute minimum. Just more updates on games that have already been announced. More NSO expansion past drip feeding. Miyamoto explains Pikmin Bloom to us for two minutes. Then there was a 30-second Pikmin 4 announcement trailer with zero gameplay. Zelda Tears of the Kingdom got barely 30 seconds of gameplay footage after being around since 2019. It looks like his life flashed before his My eyes. stomach actually fucking hurt. <laughs> <laughs> From primal fear. <laughs> Oh, wait, I'm just hungry. I thought my stomach hurt. There's Dale just... in there. Now read your shit. He's testing me. I'm not gonna fall for it. Mom. <laughs> also a reference to our let's play I don't know what's <laughs> happening anymore. I didn't even hear what you said I was busy thinking about how many people will have time to show up to my funeral <laughs> I said not the aqua c controls daddy the aqua controls awkward controls but you said it like that in that episode what episode <laughs> <laughs> the one called Real Ryan Rage and Metroid Prime. <laughs> Where we were losing our shit over hornet bees. I've never been more fearful of a human <laughs> being in my fucking life <laughs> than this seven foot five <laughs> tall, <laughs> five foot wide man. <laughs> Threatening me with the plastic Avengers axe from GameStop for $79.99 to stop making M prank jokes. <laughs> Did you even hear what I said about the If button? I had a nickel for every time that happened, I'd have <laughs> five cents baby. I have five cents if it happened once, so it's here we <laughs> Nicole winked at me and I shuddered. <laughs> George Washington was washing my back. <laughs> George Washington's not on the nickel! I thought he was. No, it's a quarter! Oh, yeah. It's a fucking quarter! Who's a nickel again? I don't know, I'm not that smart. <laughs> You just me. I'm just smart enough to know you're wrong about me. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just smart enough to tell you you suck. That's the only bar I can reach. That's the only bar I'm allowed in. <laughs> Gosh, have some bit of table, why don't you? <laughs> you fucking loser. <laughs> Oh, you're right. I am a loser. I'm sorry for being so lame that I got a death threat <laughs> on our show from my co-host. What a loser I am. You got that because of constant emperor joke. But they were funny. They were not funny. They got so why are you laughing? They stopped being funny after so long. They stopped being funny and when I, the baby started kicking. And why I'm <laughs> Why I'm laughing is because I threatened your ass. That's not funny. That's bad. I said you'd have the baby. <laughs> Goodness fucking great.
<laughs> you could always get an abortion if you want. You could always get a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking podunk troglodyte. <laughs> it's just the worst thing we've ever recorded. And I love it. God bless you. Did you even hear what I said about the fucking direct? So, I caught most of it. Um, Do you want me to read it again? No. Okay. Um, so, here's the thing. Is you took notes in a much, much different way than I initially thought. Um, so, I, I basically unprepared. Not only am I unprepared for this conversation, he's going to kill me after we're done recording. I don't see how, but okay. Because he's just... Keep making those jokes, and that's the threat. So you didn't forget. So you're pretend you were pretending. Because I thought that you would stop making the jokes. I am. Thank you. I'm just worried about my life now. Don't be. Just don't make that joke again. Okay. And I won't have to do nothing. It's what you win. <laughs> we have we have to pull out those Discord logs at some point. <laughs> at some point, but that'll be that'll be a saving day. <laughs> when we have nothing else to upload. Yes. Okay. So the way that I took notes for the direct is I mean I guess this this is where we're gonna have our little conversation is I think we took different notes because we view directs in such different ways, which is something I want to have a conversation on to begin with, okay. but I didn't think it would manifest into the way that we took notes. That's fine. Uh, if it, No, it's fantastic. It's just unexpected. Okay. <clears throat> so you paid much closer attention to the composition of the directs. Um, well, and the pacing as well as the, the overall presentation regarding, like, how it was given. Now, my big question, just for clarification, is <clears throat> when you're giving these critiques, you're mostly focusing on like first and second party stuff. Like you're not talking about Hot Wheels, you're talking about Metroid, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So maybe this just stems from the misunderstanding that I had. Because let me fucking I'm gonna pull out some of the Discord shit. We were talking right after the direct. Well, the, and the reason I didn't include a lot of um, a lot of the third party stuff in general is because it's it's always on the back burner. They can fire off those games like anything. Bayonetta three gets, like, a solid, like, one to two minute build-up before you see Bayonetta. Yeah. The impact is different. The, the way it hits is di The way it hits is completely different. I just got the fucking picture you sent. What? No one anime girl at the end of hentai is Patrick, like, drowning in ice cream. <laughs> Alright, I'll have to put that in now. Thanks. <laughs> My gosh. Can you... Crop out the iFunny.co logo and replace it with. I didn't think I'd get this far. I figured you would have shut me down by now. That's fine. <laughs> put whatever you I'll, want I'll there. put a. Uh, I'll put you there. Oh, I forgot about the, the thumbnail. Oh, the thumbnail, thumbnail for what? The thumbnail for the video. We agreed on it. Oh, wait, what was it again? You already forgot. I love it. That means I can show you as we're recording. And that means I have to show it on screen. It's going to be this, but you're <laughs> you're going to put our heads on those. Yeah. <laughs> and you're going to place this with Nintendos. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Oh, I'm so fucking excited. <laughs> okay. I was also going to do a bit where I opened doing like five minutes of a southern accent but the Japan Time podcast already took that bit because oh. all like 11 of them on the crew did it for like 10 fucking minutes jeez and I'm uh. fucking mad <laughs> look at all these pictures you don't have to put these in just <laughs> farmer this is the farmer's only direct yep anyway the reason I went on discord to begin with 
is <clears throat> maybe we did. Maybe I thought you said this. What? I'm just making a fat fucking idiot of myself more than usual. Like at least. Well, what you what do you think I said? <clears throat> that you mainly criticized like two of your biggest <clears throat> criticisms. I'll say not the two biggest were the Square Enix or RPG games and the farming games. Yeah. So let, let's just make sure whether or not I'm I'm right or wrong on that. That yeah, my 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 problem with it is more along the lines of that that feels like it's always so. that like that's what really stuck with you because it was repetitious. Yeah, and it was not because what's supposed to stick with you is this sense of okay, new game, new games are coming out. I feel and there's like oh, there's there's something for everybody or there's this going on or there's that. Not every direct works for every person. I'm in complete understanding of that. Okay. But I feel like, especially with story-driven JRPGs, which is what they are, yeah. you can only focus on such a hard story in a direct for a couple minutes before it kind of, your brain kind of just whisks that away into the realm of forgetfulness. Yeah. There were so many stories where it's like, I'm not remembering the stories now I'm remembering that they were stories and that's the bulk of it. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So that entire point I was going to make, I, I took notes completely centered around that. Uh, okay. So basically I've bungled this entire fucking operation for myself. Why didn't you take notes? And Ryan's the winner. Play the music! The winner! Thank you. You're welcome. Anyway. Here's your prize as your birthday present. Thanks. It was a $50 eShop card that I gave you for your birthday, which is also not on the same day, but I forgot to give it to you three months ago, so you have it now. And then I swapped our gifts, because yeah. they were exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Wow, how special. And Ryan looked at me with an expression of ennui. Of what? Well, it's not on the Wii, it's on the Switch. So. Oh, I thought you were going to say without a comment. That was a 10 out of 10 pun. You should all subscribe right now or I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> Gosh. I guess I know, I, I guess I know better than Ryan that the the, not making the murder threats. The, what even? The Nintendo Wem. <laughs> Don't say that while I'm drinking, you cuck. <laughs> That was your joke. You I've been made. cucked of liquid refreshments. <laughs> yeah, now you too. Yeah, you sip that spray. You see how it fucking feels. Thank goodness I didn't sip it before that happened. <laughs> Why did you do that? Why is Wem taking over a lot? I haven't thought of Wem in like nine months. <laughs> and then. I don't even remember which of us brought it up it earlier today. It was you. When we were eating. At like 10.30. <laughs> I can't even and remember the cut. It's been like all we can think of since. <laughs> Why is it so funny? Is it like the tone? I feel like yeah, because it's, it's, it's not only... It's, it's a, it like, like your reasons for liking Graphii. It is a mixture of many things. Oh, fuck. It is, though. It is, because it's not only... It's the misspelling... Marvel at the composition! <laughs> it's the misspelling of the word. It's the saying it out loud, out loud as a declarative statement. It is a... It is the fact that you say it in a silly voice. It's what we know it's a reference to. <laughs> and that all those reasons are why it's funny. Richard Horvitz is such a good voice actor. I want to hear him actually say it at, like, a Q&A panel. <laughs> I'm, I'm only ashamed that we couldn't have listened to Gilbert Godfrey say it. Thank you! I can't do it again. This is the second time. I hope you've learned something from this Wham! experience. Wham! Am I getting out of here? Am I right? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm just going to hang it out here. Alright, so, um... <laughs> Don't laugh at me! It's fine. And we could do it to do do it to do it. We are just infants. That's all we are. If there's not a game in front of us, there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> 
we just gargle, and that's it. You know what happens like before and after each recording session? What is Ryan just shows a constant onslaught of WWE clips? No, I don't. And I just show a constant onslaught of German clips. Oh well. And we drive each other insane. I guess that's fair. Uh, we do, we, we do, do both have a love of ordinary sausage. That's true. Love is a strong word. I don't know. I love his voice. His voice is perfect for what he's doing. Hey there, folks. <laughs> On today's episode, we're making the scorpion sausage. Why do you do all the good voice? <laughs> How? I have regrets. Do you? <laughs> And then watch, I say it perfectly now, but on the mic it's gonna sound much different. It's gonna sound like fucking Vin Diesel. <laughs> Family sticks together. You eat me. Well, all of you. <laughs> Did you say yo, Adrian? Wem? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you said? All I can think of, besides one, <laughs> is I'm just, I'm just completely unprepared you to talk to about the fucking directs. What do you, okay, what, what, I can talk about the, the last Did you watch direct. the directs? Did I watched watch? all four, but here's some notes I took. Now it's time to finally explain. Okay. I've been saying for 20 minutes, I made a mistake, I haven't explained what that is. Okay. So, the way I took notes is I listed every game in each direct and what genre they belong to. Okay. Because I thought that was your biggest argument against the last direct, which which is not true. No, because you proposed the idea of the pacing, and I thought about it, and I was like, okay, the pacing is a problem. So did you just so you did you actually watch them, or did you just watch the like? Did you just look at like the time? No, I and, watched all of them, and I manually recorded timestamps in every game, and I kind of um. Sword for I, I'm such a fucking idiot. Can I go home? Do you remember any sort of um I don't remember anything? <laughs> this was at six in the morning. I took notes on five million things and I remember nothing. I was up from twelve to seven last okay, night. Okay, let's go through it. Let's go through it. What no. you, <laughs> you wrote it. Let's no, go through it. I because my point is mute. At, at this point, because I thought we were going to have an argument about me saying that the genres of games don't matter and you saying that they do, that there should be a certain, like, kind of, um, like, division and equality or mixture of genres when that was never your argument to begin with and I misunderstood. Well, I will say that the, I, I do believe that there should be a, like either a reorganization of how they see these things or uh, just more. My, my biggest problem, my biggest problem is when there's nothing, nothing of note for Nintendo to announce, but they'll make a direct and it's just updates. Cause that's what this was. This yeah. was, this was, this past direct was, Mario, uh, I don't remember if it had a Mario Golf free update, but I know it had a Mario Strikers update. It had the this last one, yeah. It had a Strikers update. It had a Mario Kart Eight update. It had a Mario Kart Eight update. It also had um, what else was it? They had a. I'm looking through here. Let's see. Xenoblade Chronicles Three update. They had that update. They had. I'm trying to remember a specific one. Oh, the Nintendo Switch Sports update. Mario the, Party. Oh, uh, Mario Party N64. Yeah. I mean. They had updates for games that are being drip-fed. That, that is the problem for me when it's like, you can announce updates, you, you gotta show... And like, listen, this could have worked. I'm, I'm not gonna say that this Direct couldn't have worked. You wanna know what I would have said? Cut out all of the fucking Pikmin Bloom shit. Cut that out and replace it with actual... Pikmin 4 shit that we would have liked to see. Screenshots. Detail. What's the story? What's going on? They're just being vague. Vague is for Zelda. I and I don't know why that either. I don't know if our conversation is going to have much flow to it. Which is fine. I'm not critiquing no, you. Yeah. I just am addressing the nature of uh, there's something I want to bring up. I want to play Devil's Advocate for Pikmin Bloom. Okay. Because 
evidently not a lot of people actually knew that Pikmin Bloom has been out. For anyone that doesn't know in our audience, Pikmin Bloom's been out for, I think, around a year. Maybe like nine months to a year. Yeah. And obviously, it's not going to be as big as Pokemon because it's Pikmin. It's much more niche. But I think less people knew about that game than I realized, and maybe Nintendo saw that too. Less people... <sighs> notice it than they realized however however yeah. i do think they went on too long because if i remember correctly i'm not going to pull the video right now okay um but they're kind of like explaining the game and how it works like you collect pikmin they get stuff for you you walk around yeah. and all that and that's about like one minute or like 70 seconds and i think that's pretty good and then maybe just like a very short outro but then Miyamoto says, here's my collection of Pikmin. And this is so, you know, these are the spots around, like, Tokyo yeah, and, that's and stuff that I take. And that it's not awful. It's just unnecessary. Exactly. It's it's <clears throat> what I saw it as was buying time. Yeah. Given that they show games that have already been shown, Metroid Dread was in three directs. Did you know this? Yeah. It was in three directs. All for, well, I mean, one was, like, the game was, was just about update, to come though. out. And then one was an update. Um, I think the second one was kind of unnecessary. Yeah, but, it was. But. Um, you know, I, I'd be fine with them advertising a mobile game, whatever. Yeah. Um, it's just, it went out a little too long. I don't want to go so hard on it because I, at least to me, you know, I'm, I'm hearing myself think about it out loud. It's like, it went on for 60 seconds too long, which seems a little... Uh, extremist. <laughs> but yeah, well, it's it's little things piling up on top of each other with this direct. Is I, I think you know it's it's death by a thousand paper cuts. Yeah. Um the, I still don't think the direct was awful as a whole. Because no. you know, it had some good third party analysis. You know, you have like tunic and raincoat and shit. Yeah, um I like tunic. I that's a positive I'll say. I I love the look of tunic. I, I wanna play that fucking game. Really it looks badly, nice. Actually. And one thing I wanted to mention, and this was something you brought up when we were eating earlier, but I will say that the buying of time was so clear. Where it's like, we have nothing of relevance to show you as far as Nintendo games. There's nothing of relevance we want to show you, even though they could have shown Breath of the Wild 2 more. And Pikmin 4. That's and the thing. Pikmin 4. Is they had things they could have done. If there's not other third-party games of note or first-party games ready to show, that's not anyone's fault. Okay? So the person mm -hmm. editing the direct, what are you going to do? Point at them and say, you did a bad job. Yeah. Right? No. But no. when you had two huge, huge games, you know how long we've been waiting since the last mainline Pikmin game? You know when Pikmin 3 came out? 2013. But Pikmin 3 Deluxe came out last year. Shut your whore mouth. <laughs> no, Pikmin Boom does not count. No, Hey Pikmin for the 3DS does not count. I don't remember that. That's fine. <laughs> it's fine that you don't remember. It's okay. It was like a puzzle game. Okay. Um... And it was announced... Pikmin 4 was announced back in what? 2017, I think? Something like that. Um, and look, if yeah. it restarted development a million times, that's fine. But if the game clearly can be shown in any capacity, then it's... Show honestly, a little trailer of them walking around the first level. Show a, a few of the first things that you're doing in the game. Show... We didn't see the main character. You... We see the main character yeah. from behind, and we see that it seems like a girl, and they have pink or red hair but it's different from the girl like that in Pikmin 3. It's like yeah. a new captain. Which is fine, but it's like, you can't just keep all of it. I or, understand wanting to keep a secret. I understand wanting to surprise your audience. Yeah, don't play your whole hand. You know? But play something. You can't just go, uh, <laughs> this four on this card, that's your hint. Well, what the fuck is the hint? The logo is a hint of something, because you notice that when the Pikmin form the four, all the petals of the flowers turn yellow. We've never seen that. Mm -hmm. At least if I remember correctly, we've never seen that. Pikmin don't get yellow flowers when they drink nectar or anything. No, but so there's that, no explanation behind it. That means it. that's a new mechanic. Nothing. Nothing about it. Nothing. 
And it almost see this is now old man yells at cloud. No, but okay, title. stop saying that though, because there's a reason why we're doing. It. No, 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 there is. It's a good reason, I yeah. think too. It's it's not old man yells at cloud. It's old man yells at building of company, which is pretty much the same, marginally better. But it, there's a reason why you do it. There's not old man yells at cloud because it's cloud. No, it's old man yells at building because people in building don't listen. They just don't, they just don't hear, what, what's that guy saying? Well, we could go down to the floor. No, 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 we can't do that. That'd be them winning. <laughs> winning. And like, no, it's not us winning. It's us trying to say, can you just show a little bit more? I'll take victim complex for 800. Like, so, <laughs> like when, <laughs> when I look at the trailers, like, okay, E3 2021 Breath of the Wild trailer. Or, I'm, I keep calling it Breath of the Wild. Tears of the Kingdom trailer. E three twenty one. Tears of the fandom. <laughs> My gosh, isn't that true? Um, E three twenty twenty one. Tears of the Kingdom trailer. Where we dropping boys? As well as Fortnite battle pass. Fortnite battle pass. As well as hey, here's floating islands. And no commentary. This is all visually done, which is fine. But then we cut back to Eiji Anuma, who says, this will now take place in the skies. We, 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 what? We know that. We saw it. Can you tell us something new? Thank you for watching this Nintendo Direct. And then he bows while he shits out of his ass. And then <laughs> I'm just fucking, like, who, who assigned this old bastard to fucking <laughs> make me listen to this shit? Because I'm, I'm wait, pissed. Wait, wait. I'm pissed at this. <laughs> I am three so start. Upset. Old man yells at old man. <laughs> old man yells at old man. <laughs> Listen, I have nothing again. Uh, I should be more specific. Items on? <laughs> Items on. I should be more specific. Me and Drew had this conversation earlier. I don't hate A.G. Aonuma. I think he needs to be a supervisor, not a producer. Because that means that every single person that comes to him saying, I want to make a thing, I want to do a thing, he has to technically watch over and produce. Which means he's too fucking old to do that. Which means, he says, he's no. He's like 31. He is not 31. <laughs> you look at that guy, he's at least 50. He dyed his hair platinum. That is amazing. I, you can be emo all you want, it doesn't change anything. But the fucking... I, I watched that and I was just like... Okay, well, well, we're going to get something next time. Next time comes, and we get literally 30 seconds of wall paintings. <laughs> wall paintings. This is some basic shit. See, show I, and tell. Don't just show. If you're showing, we don't get it. You get it because you made it. We don't. <laughs> See, it's, it's so good because he's angry and correct. <laughs> and that's that's what really matters. Listen, I know that my my ramblings will come off like the... Oh, like I've never done the same thing. But I know that people are going to say, you know, like, you're complaining, you're doing this, you're doing that. Oh, but you support Nintendo. I support Nintendo's games because I like You're not games. critiquing the game. I, you're critiquing the way information's being doled out. <clears throat> I understand that movies and video games are a lot different, but the thing is, with movies, they'll show a trailer, and you can pick up key words from the trailer that hint at the story. And even if they tell the story and expose the story, you still don't know what the whole story is. If Zelda said something like, the goddess Hylia, and then fell into the hole, and Ganon's like, this time, this time is mine, or something like that. Yeah. Something... More than the visual, because you need something, you need that hook. You mean the composition of a narrative in a trailer? Mm -hmm. Say what? <laughs> Games can be oh, my ovaries. mysterious. They can be... Uh, here's how you know you failed when you made a Zelda trailer. When I have to immediately say, well, I can't wait to see Zeltic make a video on that. Because <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I just saw. And then he'll dissect it, and he'll explain to you what you just saw. Nintendo Black Crisis, Zeltic, a couple others that I can't really name because I haven't watched them. But, like, when you have to watch them to understand what you saw. It's like, what, what? What? No. You're supposed to know. 
You, and I get that they want to be mysterious. You don't get to be that mysterious. People are going to complain and bitch and moan. Unless it's a scary game, then you have a reason to be mysterious. This is like yeah. action-adventure. the less you know, the scarier it is. Yeah. yeah. This isn't... I, if he wants it to really be Majora's Mask, fine. That was an interview some years ago when he was like, oh, this is going to be a Starkest Majora's Mask. Then don't treat it like a fucking horror film where you say nothing and it's mysterious and, oh, it was all about the allegory of our self-righteous indignation bullshit. I don't fucking know. What are those words? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do. And I just fucking, I shut off. And I, I remember when I closed, when I stopped watching the direct that day, I walked away with, again. For the third time. I was like, I and that, I hate that, like, again. I had to say again. Three times. I think the best way to like put it into like a little thesis statement is that it's not like we're saying the advertisements are bad, so we're not going to buy the game. Like, yeah. absolutely not. It's more like if you're going to bother making trailers, yeah. then they <laughs> should have better composition. And they should have better uh, structure to them as well as like dialogue and whatnot. Yeah. They're, and they're timing of announcements. Pacing yeah. as well. And it's... I understand wanting to save Zelda for last. And, you know, I and I know people are going to complain about this. Well, you did get a Kirby game, you know. What does that have to do with it? It's his anniversary year. One of the big difference between Kirby's anniversary year, Z Mario's anniversary year, and <laughs> Zelda's anniversary year? What did we get this year for Kirby? We got, like, did the we get... The first 3D adventure. First 3D adventure. We got an awesome spinoff yeah. in Dream Buffet. We have a remake of a... Decade plus year old game. What did Mario get? Did what, Mario? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Real quick, icing on the cake. Did we also get like a concert? I mean, Kirby gets a concert like once a year. Anyway, he got an orchestra, but we got an anniversary concert now again. <laughs> Mario got 3D All Stars. He got 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. He got a Game and Watch. He got a clothing line. A clothing line. He got that, and there was also, I think there were some action figures and stuff attached. Um, what else was there? there I want to say there's at least one spinoff. It was like they had like a Mario whole Party. direct about Mario's 35th anniversary, basically, and they didn't do that for Zelda. They Zelda, here's a Game and Watch. Bye. It has Link's Awakening on it from the Game Boy Color. I can make that. I can draw that. <laughs> it's a Raspberry Pi with the cool ass skin on it. Yeah, that's all that is. And Kirby gets a fucking literal dream buffet. <laughs> Hal treats Kirby like gold, even during non-anniversary years. That's fine, but the That's point, wonderful. my my argument behind that is you should treat Zelda a little bit the same way, since it is arguably your second biggest IP. Zelda is one of the largest gaming franchises to pioneer. It has inspired the, the several generations. adventure genre. Like... And I understand you wanting to be like, oh, well, we went back to its roots and we gave you the Game & Watch with the three games on it. Giving us a Game & Watch? And I'm going to say this right now so we get this out of the way. Oh, don't insult the game. Giving us a Game & Watch and saying that is your gift for Zelda's 35th anniversary is like giving me a pile of shit and saying, I hope you enjoy your food. I have nothing to do with this and I don't want it. <laughs> I've never wanted it. In fact, to get rid of it and give me something I like. That I've said that to every piece of poop I've ever come across. Exactly. Lots of dogs in my neighborhood. Lots of shit. The, the issue, again, is not that... Because they don't want people to misunderstand. And also, for those who are going to say, well, Skyward Sword. Skyward Which was Sword already, was one game. Yeah. And that was already in development before any of this shit happened. And it's, it's that was good. It was. It was fine. It was and, it was, and it had improvements to it. But when you consider the one game versus this entire thing Kirby gets, it, it it's almost insulting to Zelda fans who are just like, we just want to see Zelda. We want to see some Zelda stuff. We want to see Zelda clothing line. We want to see Zelda orchestra. Would, like, think about that. The problem is not think the game about a Watch Zelda orchestra. The problem wasn't that the game Watch was made. It's that that was maybe the most significant thing. It was because that was you know the most that it was it, there wasn't other stuff along with it. 
and I, and you know you can argue well Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time are being on the the Nintendo Switch online expansion pass. Okay, so like the N64 expansion pack is going to launch and it's just not going to have Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Like they're just going to hold that shit. What? That don't tell me that was an argument. I have a counter argument for that. 64 Sunshine Galaxy. And we still got 64 on the expansion right. pass. Right. There's no excuse. Right. No. And it's like you can't port Ocarina of Time, which I have been I've been so dying to play when I'm at work lately. I've thought about buying the fucking expansion pass, but I'm just like, no, I don't want to sink in. I don't want to give in and give them that satisfaction. Because then I know they're gonna whisk it away from me when they cancel the expansion pass. They're not gonna allow me to buy it. They're gonna say, well, just pay for our next subscription. It's 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 a constant fight that I have with this Zelda stuff, because it's like Zelda is arguably one of my favorite franchises, and Breath of the Wild is probably number one on my top five gaming's list. And I want to love it, but they're like they're they're basically saying, uh, you can love it when we want you to. That's okay, but if we don't want you to love it, then just deal with that. Well, I'm sorry I sound like a bitter old man yells at Cloud, but like this is exactly how I felt it's about the whole really, situation. It's a really shitty Cloud. And the last thing I'll say on this, to end my rant, to end my whole shit, is that when it gets down to it... Midna is hotter than Zelda. Yes. In imp form. It's like Samus. Samus is hotter than suit. I mean, this hotter is an imp. Either way is fine. I've never played the game. Shakes pants, leaves the room. You know what? I still want to play that game, and this seems like the only way to do it is on the Wii U now. So I'm going to have to do that. Oh, you mean with the bloom turned up to fuck 100? Yes. Yes. Yep. I played I played the Wind Waker, and I love that shit. That was fun. I do want to say one little thing. Hmm. They said that Tears of the Kingdom was... The, the name was going to give too much away, so they wanted to wait until now to tell us the name. And... I heard a good theory from those. I can't say that. You can say anything you want. I heard, no, I don't want to. I heard a good theory from Roger's face. Okay. As to. It actually makes some kind of sense. I feel like I know what you're about to delve into, so go ahead. Typically, when you reveal the name of a game, you also show the logo. And it's not really the name that gives too much away, but the logo with the broken Master Sword. My counter argument to this, though, I don't know if I agree with it. It's just the best and only explanation I've heard is we saw the broken Master Sword in the first trailer. We saw it in an off trailer. It wasn't technically in the trailer. It was in when he was talking about the trailer. Uh, It wasn't in the tactical trailer. Okay. But go on. We did see it. No, that's pretty much it. But we do see it get repaired in the logo. We see the repaired Master Sword, and we see, obviously, that it has that green-blue energy, which I'm assuming is something ancient. Fi? Could be. Maybe? I mean, there was there was hints at that at uh, in Breath of the Wild. Given this game seems very Skyward Sword <clears throat> connected. Also referencing to Tears of the Kingdom, which I think that's how the Master Sword's going to get repaired. That's just my theory. I have no evidence to back that up. But Tears of the Kingdom, there were Tears of Light in Skyward Sword. Yeah. The Tears of Light, I don't remember specifically what they did, but I'm pretty sure you did them to unlock a thing. Fair enough. Fine. I'd have to play Skyward Sword. I hate the art style for Skyward Sword so much. Just remind me, (laughs) Hylia is the goddess of time and light. So that is the theory that has been passed around and that has been referenced multiple times. I don't think there's any solid evidence confirming that, but this, I think, is about to confirm it. Because that's the only logical What do we know about Hylia Concrete? Hylia is... The literal reincarnation of Hylia is Zelda. Zelda is the strict okay. definition reincarnate. And Ganondorf is the reincarnation of Demise, and Link is the reincarnation of no, Api Gold. No, Link is literally no reincarnation. He is just... Hate to word it like this, he is a tool to wield the master sword. 
Yeah. And it is a collaboration between Hylia and Sword Wielder, Sword Wielder to deal with this coming threat. That is basically it. And we see seven tiers of light, and that could lead to elude. That could elude to multiple things. A lot of people have said six, seven sages. Yeah. Um, these things come in seven, seven chaos emeralds, seven dragon balls. I'll go on with that forever. But when it comes down to it, I, seven tiers of light. I'm feeling like that's going to mean seven dungeons, perhaps, perhaps. And I'm thinking that that's going to have to do with. There's going to be some dungeons in the sky, and there's going to be some... And these Tears of Light, I feel, are going to reawaken and repower the Master Sword. I need you to promise me something, Mr. A.G. Aonuma. I need you to promise me that the dungeons are not just going to be reskins of shrines again, where the puzzle is put the ball in the hole, and I'll do it again with the Vakabu <clears throat> attacking you. The promise I give for the Nintendo Direct, the sequel to The Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, is that you will have fun. Bows and leaves. But is the fourth dungeon going to be... He left. He left. He's gone. Pickle! And a half! He left. He's not talking. And I'm over here on the right. Get back here. Yeah, I know. I wish. Look at me. <laughs> the most important announcement we got was fitness boxing for Sinister. <laughs> I thought you were going to say it was Toothpaste the Protagonist. Yes, Fire Emblem Aquafresh. Tooth, pro tooth Protagonist? Also, I like your joke, too. Did, did I say that? <laughs> no, I said Tooth Protagonist, but you said Aquafresh something? Where did you... You said it like it was a pun, or did you just have a fucking... I just had an epiphany moment. Toothpaste epiphany. Toothpaste based epiphany. You've been drinking that shit? Tooth protagonist. Okay. Tooth protagonist. Do you like my joke yet? <laughs> I'm cautiously giving it attention to placate... What was your joke again? Was it Aqua Fresh something? Yeah. Aqua Fire Emblem or something? Aqua Fresh. What, what, what was it based? Like what was the pun? Aqua Fresh's toothpaste. Okay. Fine. Oh, uh, because the the protagonist hair is blue and red. Oh yeah. <laughs> Somewhere, someone is thinking this is the best podcast I've ever listened to. <laughs> <laughs> they talk about Wem for four minutes. It was fun. <laughs> and M. Prank for 90 and literally murdering A.G. Aonuma for six hours. I don't want him murdered. I want him demoted. Yeah, that's what you can say for legal reasons to protect yourself. <laughs> yep. Oh my gosh. <sighs> there were only four farming games. What? There were only four farming games. It still felt like nine. It felt like nine. I agree with you. <laughs> there were only four. And one wasn't even really shown. One was shown in like a. I don't know. Yeah, it was. I thought it was shown in like one of those like clip. Um, I don't think so. I think these are all shown. You know what didn't help? There were multiple grassy landscape games. <laughs> That's what really ruined me. <laughs> it's like, can we get a little variety? Can we stop with the, the the cloud service games? Yes, please. That too. Oh my gosh. What what is the purpose of cloud service again? Remind me. Um, that the game is running on a server somewhere else on the planet. Um, because Nintendo but, Switch can't handle it? Yes, okay. that's why. You'll notice that, like, you're not going to play Resident Evil 8 Cloud on your PS5, because your PS5 can run that shit. The Switch can't. So, it streams the game from the server hosting the game. And it's just taking your inputs. It's taking, like, the system's inputs and connecting to the game the game responds, taking your inputs, sends that signal back to your Switch. If the Switch were uh, better hardware than a fucking Keurig, then we wouldn't need this. But now we have Dying Light Cloud, Kingdom Hearts Cloud, and now, what was it? 
four, Resident Evil. five Resident Evil games. Cloud version. No, I'm not. I'm not paying sixty dollars to not only not own the game but require an internet connection. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Yep. I never thought I'd hear that it's playing on a server somewhere else. Because it needs to. It's the only way the Switch could run Resident Evil 8. That's so weird. You could not make a Switch cart or download off the eShop Resident Evil 8. Your Switch would catch fire. Your house would burn down before it even hit a loading screen. Do you understand? This is the technology we're dealing with in current year. I feel like Nintendo, their next console should be a next-gen console, just just to catch up. And then they can start messing around with all this portability nonsense yes, again. Please make it, bare minimum, as powerful as an Xbox One. PS4. PS4 Pro. You can put a dildo on the back so I can fuck it when there's USB loading screens. Power. I... Don't care what else you put on it. Please. I'm tired of running a console made from recycled jeans and cans. Please. No more Levi's. No more Mountain Dew. Just the the boxes other companies have been making for 20 years. Okay. Now I'm I'm downward spiral. Okay. I guess we're going to cut it off here. No, we're not. Because... The Nintendo Direct had a seven minute long joke, and it was the funniest joke I've ever had the pleasure of witnessing. And that is? It was a. I called it the series of unfortunate events. <laughs> series. And it ran from 25 minutes and 27 seconds to 32 minutes and 27 seconds. Seven exact minutes. Okay. And it's all just a slow build up and burn <laughs> until thirty two twenty seven, where the joke lands like a drop of water in a fucking fucking ripple. <laughs> what was it? The first announcement: Mario Kart Wave Three. Here's all eight tracks minus six. Yeah. Why? Because snow. You like snow, right? Do you like snow? Do you like candy canes? Snow's cool. I like snow. I'm imagining Miyamoto actually saying this. <laughs> he probably did. <laughs> Just like with a mildly concerned look on his face. Oh man, after I miss snow, it's summer right now. Oh, okay. Then. Write that down, write that down. <laughs> then. Nintendo Switch Sports. Which should have launched with golf. Mm hmm. No, you add that later. And then we are getting golf later, and now they have to delay it. What have they been doing? Golfing. Either their office was... Mario Golf! Either their development office burned down... I sound like Rich Evans. From from arson, or they've been jacking off the entire time. Listen. Golf. Where do you think I got the trend of mayo? Then, then, Miyamoto comes on screen. Hi, we've been at hard work for the Mario movie, which has been delayed twice. Hashtag Sonic Sweep. Twice? I thought it was only this was the first delay. Twice. When was it delayed the first time? Yes. Okay. <laughs> like all this Sonic movie, and, no issues. Yeah. And Super Nintendo World. With no updates. That's not as big of an issue. But why even bring up the Mario movie at all if you're not showing anything? Don't even mention it! I would like to go to actually Super Nintendo World California. That sounds like a nice vacation. But go on. Then. It's been nine years, as I discussed, since Pikmin 3. Mm -hmm. And he says, we're going to talk about Pikmin. Quote, unquote, and we're still working on the franchise. Hard cut to Pikmin Bloom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Listen, you funny fuck, man. <laughs> I know you got a degree in comedy, but this ain't the time for jokes. You think this is funny? In a cosmic sort of way, yes. 
He doesn't say we're going to talk about Pikmin 4, but first Pikmin Bloom. Yes. Obviously, the minute you hear that, you know that it's going to be Pikmin 4, but don't toy with the motions for the game that's restarted development a million fucking times, and you announced in 2017 Pikmin Bloom for two minutes, then Pikmin 4. Nice cinematic. Nice teaser. Okay. Cool. And then, no gameplay. But here's how the gameplay will work. We have this thing called Dandori, where in uh, ethnic Japan we finger each other's buttholes and we say that uh, we're working on the game. Also, if you ever played Pikmin before, it's kind of like that. And I have a t-shirt. Yeah, do you like my shirt? I made it. I also have a t-shirt. Here's how the gameplay will work. From the Pikmin's perspective. You mean every game in the franchise? Yeah. Oh, you said the camera's lower to the ground. I understand now. That's big news. Don't you like that big and news? And then, and then, if you're a streamer and you're live streaming the direct, bless your heart. Because Just Dance, once again, based... I wanted to make that news. Based and red-pilled Just Dance, yet again, DMCAing every streamer's stream. Again. Every single time they don't play a generic song, they play a copyrighted song that's in the game because they want to end streaming <sighs> live on stream. <laughs> you can say it this time. Sending streamers into prison. Also. And then, yes. and then, once all the streamers have fucking died and gone to prison... Harvestel is the game where you farm. Yeah, you like that? That entire... When Harvestella popped up on stream, I saw the title. I fucking died. I... I astral projected into the fun zone. But what about Quietus? And I had a laughing fit when I saw Harvestella. <laughs> and it's not because it looks like a bad game. It's not because I dislike farming games. But after all of this, and then you show a fourth farming game. After disappointment with Pikmin and Mario Kart and Nintendo Switch Sports. And you DMCA everyone streaming the stream. Which you know thousands of people do all across the globe. And then another farming game. It couldn't have been earlier <laughs> Right then, it was the it's the most well constructed joke I've ever seen. <laughs> it was made. It's the best kind of joke. The one made out of spite for the rest of humanity. <laughs> Do you understand yeah. the shit we're dealing with? <laughs> the masterminds behind these directs. Yeah, who is it? Is it Koizumi? No. Is no. it? Is it the head of Mar- Who? Owls? It's the president. Kepora Kepora? Bars? It's the president. The president of because, I Hate You. Because he is Nintendo's, involved in the marketing. Nintendo's actually Japanese for suck a fart out of my ass. I looked up who is the head of the direction on these directs. The president is directly involved. I wanted to mention one thing. Did you notice that this was the second time that a gigantic, like, what a monumentous announcement has been immediately followed by a Just Dance game? What was the first time? Metro Train. <laughs> <laughs> Metro Train, oh my gosh, I thought it? that game wasn't real! It's, it's so excited, dance. I feel like dancing. <laughs> Cue the Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> Canonically the worst man. You <laughs> Katy Perry, I need to jam. Because jelly don't shake like me. <laughs> Maybe Pikmin 4 will have Katy Perry Pikmin. Katy Pikmin? They're all wearing elbow shirts. <laughs> no! I <laughs> End the podcast! End the podcast! <laughs> hey.